Today we're exposing the vicious influencers and celebrities who photoshop their photos to look like different people. Not only do they have plastic surgery, fillers, professional photographers, the best lighting and angles, lots of makeup, but they still spend hours editing their photos. Why do they do this? Are they intentionally damaging society and impacting the mental health of young people everywhere? Or is it a lack of self-confidence and they aren't happy with themselves? In this episode of Exposing Photoshop and Myself. Hi guys, so as you heard today, I really want to talk about like mental health, photoshopping, body image, societal expectations, and a plethora more and explain to you guys face tuning, editing, face apping, and why I actually still edit and why I'm not ashamed to admit it and why I tell you guys I edit all the time, but at the same time why like I can't stop editing. I'm not strong enough, but I will explain that to you all as we go through the video. I'm about to expose a lot of tea. <laughs> And a lot of secrets and I know a lot of you guys have wanted a sit down video for so long because I've been like running around making crazy vlogs but sometimes it's good to just have like a girly chit chat and girl time and if you guys do want a video that's more girl talk about like relationships men sex periods things like that I am happy to give it to you because I remember I learned all that stuff from YouTube so I feel like I should pass the baton baton I don't you know when the people are running and you like pass them that's what I feel like I need to do and help someone out. But okay, so as you guys know, recently these images of Khloe Kardashian came out where her grandma posted an unphotoshopped, unfaced tuned image of her and she pretty much had a meltdown and tried to get it scrubbed off the internet. But anytime you try to scrub something off the internet, the internet turns it into like the greatest thing ever. So this is the image that Khloe Kardashian's grandma posted of her, right? Not, I would say not a bad image. I would say it looks totally fine. And this is the image that Khloe Kardashian actually ended up posting, face tuned, edited, and etc. of herself. Now we should talk about why that's problematic and also why she probably can't help it, right? So first let's talk about why it's problematic. Khloe Kardashian, as a rich celebrity, is able to afford the best, the creme de la creme, creme brulee plastic surgery in the entire world. Not only do they frequently have procedures, as you can see their faces evolving throughout the years, there's also this YouTuber called Lori who goes into like the depths of what they're probably having done, um, which I think is really interesting, and there's some plastic surgeons that comment on it. Like they're obviously having procedures done. Lip filler, all, all sorts, sorts of fillers, fillers, Botox, like body editing, body contouring. A lot of people say that Kylie Jenner and her makeup artists have the same body, but that's neither here nor there. So not only can they afford the best plastic surgery in the world, then they go on to add so many filters photoshopping and professional editing to their photos and then finally post those images to the world now as a normal person hello hello that, that it sucks, you know, because you wish you could look like them, right? They're giving you this like idea because they're so famous that this is like the idea of beauty like every Everybody likes this. Millions of people follow them for their beauty, right? So they give you this unattainable image. Why is it unattainable? Firstly, plastic surgery is not affordable. Plastic surgery is not not necessarily not dangerous, like you could die. Secondly, the editing and the face tuning, you will never look how your edited face looks, right? So like that's never gonna happen for you, no matter how much you wish it would. But on the other hand, I do understand why they do it because when you have so many people looking at you and critiquing your every look every single day, it's kind of hard not to start internalizing those things and thinking about yourself and trying to be the best version of yourself you can be so that people critique you less because as much as we don't want them to, words hurt and getting millions of words every day I'm sure hurts a lot. And that's why I tell you guys that I also face tune and I Photoshop and I edit all my photos. Why? Not because I don't like the original version of myself. I love myself. I think I'm I'm a great oh, little one that's and I think my body is fine but at the same time when everybody else is photoshopping and face tuning and every image you see on Instagram is perfect and Pinterest you start comparing yourself to those things and at one point it becomes like almost impossible as like a social media influencer as a content creator to compete with these people if your images aren't like photo shoot magazine worthy because people look at this perfect image and they look at your like good normal image and they're like oh, I'm gonna like the perfect one right it's more aesthetically pleasing the eye gets drawn to it like you're like wow that's a beautiful photo like the better your photos look the more engagement you get on your photos the more engagement the more followers the better you're considered at doing your job so if I started posting photos that weren't as good my body didn't look as nice my hair wasn't as perfect my eyes weren't as sharp I wasn't as like edited and I was getting less likes less engagement less views that would reflect on me as like not that good of a content creator right so it's this hard balance of like I want to show you reality but at the same time 
I gotta do a good job, right? I've shown you guys images of myself in the past and how I've edited them. I still edit all the time. But today I thought we could also go through this Instagram called Celeb Face. But before we get really into it, I do want to say that if you struggle with mental health because of social media, because you've been locked inside for so long, because you're feeling lonely, anxious, scared, um, and you have nobody to talk to, I would really recommend Cerebral. And I'll go over there and tell you guys about them now. Cerebral is actually sponsoring this portion of today's video and I'm really happy to be partnering with them. What Cerebral is, is an online mental health membership plan that helps you not only with your therapy, but with possible prescriptions and medication. The coolest thing about them is that they're online, so you can do it from the privacy of your own home. You don't have to go anywhere. In most cases, you can even see an online provider in as fast as 20 minutes, because I know sometimes you're going through a really stressful situation and you want to find a therapist, but you just don't want to look for one. And by the time they get back to you, you're like, ah, whatever, I forget it. So sometimes in most states, they get back to you within 20 minutes, not only with a therapist, but also medication management. You can pretty much message your counselor anytime, so you basically have a therapist in your pocket. They have integrated behavioral and medication therapy, so your doctor and your therapist are talking to each other. 75% of users have actually seen an improvement after their second visit, which is really amazing. Therapy with cerebral can cost up to three times cheaper than traditional therapy. Rather than seeing like 500 bucks to see a psychiatrist and then $100 per every visit, they do like a monthly membership plan. So now I'll show you guys basically how to do it. All you have to do is start by filling out a short online form, answering a few questions to help Cerebral understand your symptoms. From there, you can choose to subscribe to one of the three different membership options based on your needs and budget. Membership options may include a combination of care counseling, therapy, and prescription medication. Plans include regular video or phone visits with your provider, prescribed medications delivered monthly with free shipping, and a monthly virtual call and unlimited online messaging with a care counselor or licensed therapist. If you guys do want to check it out, there will definitely be a link down in the description box. If you'd like to take the next step in working on your mental health, click the link in my description to start the questionnaire and get connected to a provider right away. Your first month starts at only 30 bucks. So yeah, if you need someone to talk to about this, Cerebral is probably really good. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you guys know about this Instagram, but it's called Celeb Face, and I'll put it here <laughs> so you guys can look at it. Basically, it shows how celebrities Photoshop, where they Photoshop, and it gives you kind of like a dose of reality. I think it's really insightful and helpful, and a lot of you would like it. Here, the, one of the first images is Bella Thorne in a professional photo shoot. Um, you can see the retouched skin, and then you can see her real actual skin texture. Human beings have skin texture! We're always gonna look like this. I'm sure right now I look like a sweaty, textury mess to you guys because I'm not even wearing face makeup. This is how my skin looks. Here you go. I can even put a filter on it on video and show you guys like how it would look if I filter in my YouTube videos to make myself look better. A lot of makeup YouTubers I notice filter their makeup videos to make the foundation look smoother, to make their foundation pop. A lot of things can also be color graded, which makes them look better. This is real skin. I see nothing wrong with this. We also have Billie Eilish here who has really good skin already. I don't understand why they're photoshopping her to be perfect. I prefer the image of her that's unphotoshopped because it makes me feel like she's a real human. I think that's why a lot of you guys, when I used to post my unedited photos, used to like me more because you're like, oh, I am a real human like Blair Walnuts. And now that I'm like editing everything, I can understand why a lot of you are like, unhappy a little bit because you're like oh she's just like everyone else i can't relate anymore which is completely understandable and i also wish i had the self-confidence to post stuff like this and i think a lot of this actually stems from self-confidence it's not feeling like you're good enough and not feeling like you will be liked especially by like your like the significant other or like it love interest like i since being here with my girlfriends, I've met like tons and tons and tons of guys and like I'm worried that if I post a photo of myself not looking as hot as all the other girls here, as all the models here, they're not gonna like me as much. They're gonna think I'm not as pretty, I'm not as cool, I'm not like great to hang around, I'm not like, I'm not gonna get invited places. Like you become worried that they're not gonna like you as much and I think that's where it stems from. So that's a lot of the skin retouching that's going on. Here is a perfectly good model. I don't know which one she is, but look at this her photos versus her paparazzi. She's a beautiful girl. She doesn't need to be doing this. Like, here we have an example of plastic surgery gone too far. This is Demi Moore, a beautiful woman. I think still beautiful woman. And this image specifically makes me so sad. Like, it makes me cry for her because she was obviously not feeling beautiful anymore. You don't get plastic surgery because you feel like it on a Sunday. You wake up and you're like, oh, church, plastic surgery. No, you get plastic surgery because you wanna look better. You wanna feel better. So it makes me sad that this is the end result because she clearly wanted like those cool sculpted Angelina Jolie cheekbones and she couldn't get them so she's like, I'll just plastic surgery them. 
the bad thing about plastic surgery is that no matter how much you pay, sometimes it can go wrong. Like, we've all seen my lip filler video. What, what the, the frick, frick is, is going on? on? I haven't gotten lip filler since, since then, then, but like, if, if I, I do, I will, I will film it for you guys. guys. My lips were covered in bruises. They had more lumps and bumps than the cellulite on my left butt cheek. Here we have Jennifer Lawrence in a magazine versus Jennifer Lawrence in real life. Obviously still beautiful. Rihanna, obviously still beautiful. Obviously still beautiful. Kendall Jenner, okay. Kendall Jenner is one that, like the other Kardashians, really perplexes me because it's like, you guys have access to all the best surgery things in the world and you're still gonna post edited photos of yourself. Like, we regular people have no hope. Like, we're never gonna look like you. But I think that's also why they do it. They don't want us, like they wanna be above us, right? They wanna be celebrity, because that's, that's what a celebrity is. It's a person that's famous and above everyone, kind of. I mean, it shouldn't be. I'm not agreeing with it. But I think that's why they do it, is because they wanna remain the top, above. Like, one notch ahead, right? Here's Lauren Gray. Uh, to be fair, a lot of you guys know Lauren Gray, right? She's a famous TikToker. To be fair, I don't think she edited the photo on the left. I think it's just a good angle. Depending on how you stick your stomach in and out, also affects like how your photo looks and I think a lot of the times I edit my photos because I don't want to spend the time during the photo shoot perfecting my body and taking a thousand photos right it's not always a case of that girl is face tuning she's editing sometimes the case is just the position and that's why I edit sometimes because I don't want to waste hours of my life contorting my body to the perfect skinniest position I rather just push my stomach in in the face app and move on with my life <laughs> Another reason why I use the editing tools is sometimes when I'm in a rush and trying to like complete a thing or a photo or a video or it's a really beautiful location I didn't put makeup on or I want my eyes to stand out sometimes I just put makeup on in the apps so that I don't have to put makeup on in real life because I don't want to sweat it off <laughs> Okay, here's Kim Kardashian She obviously still looks absolutely amazing. So does Lady Gaga Audrey O'Day was criticized after paparazzi published her photos the difference between Instagram and reality is clear She says the photos were retouched to make her look bad, but insider said photos were only cropped the photos weren't even color corrected at all Who's right? Oh, man this I mean is that even her like that's crazy Here's Britney Spears then and now still beautiful a lot of people say I look like Britney Spears, which I think is really sweet Okay, here's Bella Hadid This is why not editing is so difficult when Bella Hadid one of the most beautiful people on planet earth she photoshops and face tunes her photos so like how do you expect me just an average walnut to not like want to face tune and photoshop my photos because i want to look like bella you know everyone wants to look beautiful and that's what i wanted to tell you guys is like don't feel bad if you're face tuning because it comes from a place of wanting to feel beautiful not from a place of wanting to trick people right i never want to trick you that's why i always tell you i'm face tuning and editing right the problem with telling people that you're face tuning and editing is it becomes a double-edged sword because i recently have lost a good amount of weight i've been taking more time into my photos so not all of my photos are edited i don't edit my photos dramatically but people will still accuse you of editing your photos no matter what that's why i stopped posting like the before and afters because even if i didn't edit my body or my face people would accuse me of doing it so I became like annoyed and kind of like sensitive about it So I think that's why I stopped doing it. So everything in social media is like a double-edged sword It's so good to connect with people, but at the same time It's so scary because like there's always a bad side Yin and yang. Okay, let's look at some more of these Meghan Markle even Okay Here's a famous Victoria's Secret supermodel. Oh, these are just lip fillers. I mean this photo of Kylie Jenner I just she launched a billion dollar makeup line. Oh my gosh, I do kind of look like old Lana. That's funny, I just need a nose job. He <laughs> See, toxic thought. Things are becoming so crazy in the photoshopping and editing world that there's actually deep fakes now where people can like put your face onto actual like other people and pretend you did stuff, which I think is actually the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my gosh, this is probably one of the worst, worst ones I've seen is this one. Haters will say it's Photoshop. Oh my goodness gracious. Like, th this is bad, like, but it sucks because like, people expect us to look like this. Like, how? <laughs> Another secret that celebrities use that they'll never tell you is that they hire paparazzi to take photos of themselves, Photoshop the photos, and then post them. Here's an example of Kylie Jenner being photographed by paparazzi that like she paid versus paparazzi she didn't pay. I mean, the results are honestly astounding. And look, Kylie Jenner's a normal person. There's nothing wrong with looking like that. I look like that every morning. <laughs> Nobody asked. 
So why is it shameful? Why is it scary? Why do we have to try to bury the photos? We're all humans. Lindsay Lohan, I love her so much. Parent Trap was like the best movie ever and actually me and my friend Tamika shared Oreos and peanut butter the other day and it gave me so much like nostalgia and I was so happy about it. <laughs> Here's Adele. Here's this girl, Sophia, that I uh, have seen on Instagram before. I mean, this just, there's nothing wrong with that. That's like a regular body versus like a really posed Instagram. Yeah, and then this is her editing herself on the runway. See how the edits are so small, you barely notice them? Tiana Mojo, face <laughs> fails or not. Tana's like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Like, that's why I stopped caring if you could notice that I facetuned my photos because I do facetune my photos. And if there's wavy lines in the background, you're welcome. welcome. Anyway, let me know your guys' opinion down below in the comments. I do read the comments every now and then, so I'm interested to see your opinion. Don't forget, you can also text me at 702-930-2436. Add me on Instagram at Blair Walnuts. Don't forget to get some merch that says love yourself. I love you a lot, Walnut out. Bye!